Gemini. Welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher. I'm here to do your full moon reading, which is happening on the 5th of June um, on Friday. And it's a full moon in Sagittarius. There is also a lunar eclipse on that same day. I will be doing separate eclipse readings for you. This reading, however, is just for the full moon that's happening on Friday. Now, the reason why we need to get these out about a week before is so that you have this week to work on whatever it is that's coming out in this reading so that when you get to the full moon that you know exactly what it is that you need to work through, to release, and so that you know where it is that you're going. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Please, can we have cards to show us what it is that Gemini needs to know for the full moon on the 5th of June in Sagittarius. What do you want to show Gemini for the 5th of June for the full moon in Sagittarius? Okay. What is falling away and what do you need to forgive? What is the illuminated full moon showing you? And what comes next? Okay. What is falling away and what, what, it, what is it that you need to forgive? Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So Gemini, I feel that this is, this is a full moon. This is the end of a cycle. So the releasing of the fact that you only dream, the fact that you dream and not ever have a plan to get it out in man, into manifestation, that is what you need to release and that's what you need to forgive yourself for. Because that's the reason why nothing would manifest in your life. It's because you have these dreams and you manifest, but you don't have a practical plan. Now, as you know, if we sit on our chairs, on the couch, being a couch potato, and we're not doing something about anything, nothing will come from it. You have to have a practical plan to get your dreams into manifestations. And even, even if you have this super, super dream that you don't even know how you're going to bring into manifestation, simply take a first step. You take the first step and the universe will take two. So please know that this is what you need to work through. This is what you need to release. And this is what you need to forgive yourself for. Because with this coming to fruition and the ending of a cycle, you're going to realize that, hmm, I could have done this a long time ago. And you're going to want to kick yourself in the butt for it. Forgive it. Forgive you. You need to love yourself enough and forgive yourself so that what it is that you, whatever it is that you want to manifest, that you start doing something about it. And that is what you need to release. What is the illuminated full moon showing you? <laughs> surprise, surprise. Ending of a cycle. Your dreams need a practical plan. New moon in Aries. It's time to take action. Aries is all about action. Aries is about you just going in and you're obliterating everything in your path. You're just doing, 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 going, going, going. This is what this moon is illuminating for you. Surprise, surprise, like I say. Interesting. I love these readings. Now, what comes next? Wow, luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Remember, this is the full moon in Sagittarius. What this card tells me is, the moment you start doing these and you start taking action, luck is seriously on your side. Seriously, you are going to manifest things left and right, Gemini. Wow, this is beautiful. This is awesome. Gemini, have fun this week. Forgive yourself, be kind to yourself. Get some things done this week. Get some action in. Take the time to make a plan on what it is that you want to happen in your life. And it will. Much quicker than you can anticipate. Have fun, Gemini. I'll see you on the flip side.